Hello and welcome to this little mini coffee ring tutorial. We're gonna be learning how to paint these today. They can be fun accents in your sketchbook or just something to doodle with. And the first thing that you'll need to do is to get your circle down on paper. You can use a pencil and either freehand draw a circle of whatever size you want or grab a round object like a can or a cup and trace around the bottom and draw your circle on the paper. And the next thing that you'll wanna do is get your watercolor paints ready. To get that blended, very drying look of coffee on paper, you'll want to use several different colors and shades of brown. So go ahead and wet those and get them ready so that you can mix and blend them as you paint. Then using a fine pointed watercolor brush, you're going to start painting around the edge of that pencil circle that you drew. As you go, lift your brush once in a while to leave a gap and vary the pressure that you put on it so that you create thick and thin areas. This does a really good job of mimicking the way that the coffee on the bottom of a cup would blend or smudge around on the paper. To add to the authentic look, you can trace some parallel lines around the circle you just painted. This makes it look like the cup shifted a bit while it was sitting on the paper. And then, if you want to add some fun drips, you can add a lot of extra paint to the ring that you just painted, and then tap the paper. That tapping motion can make a drip fall down the edge of your page, and as it dries, you'll get this nice drippy coffee look. If you also want to create some coffee splatters or drips, get a lot of water and then paint on your brush, and then wrap your brush against your finger over the paper. This will add some splatters onto your page. You can also paint some circles and splatters onto your paper, and if you feather out the edges of them like this, it will help them look like they were splattered. To have it look like real coffee dried on the paper, it helps to use several different shades of brown as you paint. So here, I'm using one tone, and then I'm picking up a different color of paint on my brush and dropping in that paint into this wet area that was already on the paper. Having these two different colors of brown mix and blend on the paper gives it that look of coffee drying in different stages. You can add some splatters like we talked about earlier. And then in this one, I'm going to draw a bigger parallel circle that echoes the original one so that it really looks like the cup was picked up and then placed back down again, leaving another coffee ring overlapping the first one. And I'm dropping in a little bit more color. Something you want is areas of both dark and light color on the ring. If you want your coffee ring to look a little less smooth, you can go back around and kind of roughen up the edges as I'm doing here. This maybe looks like a cup that got smudged around on the table or on the paper a bit before the coffee fully dried. And there's your coffee rings. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this and have lots of fun painting these at home.